at first sight it looked like a, a novelty record and uh, we, we were quite surprised when we, when we actually managed to get hold of a, uh, a copy of it and uh, put it on the, on the player and uh, found that it was this, this amazing uh, jazz rock with funk, with Brazilian, with samba, with all sorts of uh, uh, things flowing into it. And uh, so uh, we then tracked down the owner of it, Bruce Henry, who's an American guy living in Brazil, who's a great friend of Ronnie's. And uh, through him, we, we then uh, set about trying to find the original tapes, which uh, eventually we found in the, the back of, a, of the old studio in, in Leblon in, in Rio, where, where the thing was actually recorded originally. Well, I'm very gratified that there, this decision has fallen in my favour. I think it's a wonderful result. I'm happy and eternally thankful to the Brazilian Justice Department, to the Brazilian people. He, it, was, it was actually Ronald Biggs' idea. He approached me and he knew me from going to my concerts and things and uh, he said, oh, let's make a soundtrack for my life. We were doing soundtracks and this was the story was so rich, full of detail and full of adventure. You know, the, the way they uh, pulled off the robbery, the way they escaped from prison, all these things were so, uh, you know, all these details were very interesting. And for you to translate that into music was quite exciting. <laughs> 